Jinger Duggar and husband purchased California rental home for nearly $2 million. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. A subscribe from you helps to inspire our work. Jinger Duggar and husband Jeremy Vulo liked their Southern California rental home so much that they spent nearly $2 million to buy it. Earlier this month, the couple purchased the Tudor-style house in Santa Clarita, a city northwest of Los Angeles, for $1.9 million, Realtor.com reported on Tuesday, August 13. The property previously belonged to the Masters University and Seminary, which bought it in 2022 for $1.75 million and rented it out to the pair. Bulo works at the nearby Christian University. It was built in 1980 and includes four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and two fireplaces. Duggar, 30, shares two daughters, Felicity, 6, and Evangeline, 3. And a podcast, The Jinger and Jeremy Podcast, with Vulo, whom she wed in 2016. Their nuptials, which marked their first time sharing a kiss, were documented on season 3 of 19 Kids and Counting. The TLC series centered on Duggar and her 18 siblings, as they were raised with the fundamentalist Christian teachings of the Institute and Basic Life Principles, IBLP. Jinger's parents, Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar, also starred on the show. Jinger has since revaluated her rigid religious upbringing, including IBLP founder Bill Gothard's teaching that families should have as many children as possible. I just was really afraid of the thought of having as many kids as possible, but that was my destiny. That was gonna be it. I was gonna get married and have a lot of kids, she said during a June appearance on the Unplanned podcast. Even on the show, if you watch those shows, I'm sure I probably said multiple times, I'm just gonna have as many kids as possible. I just say it over and over. But I was afraid. I was so afraid. Jinger and Mulo were introduced through Jinger's sister Jessa Duggar and her husband, Ben Seewald, who met the former soccer star in Texas before he visited the Duggar family in Arkansas. Jinger reflected on the early days of her courtship with Mulo in the couple's 2021 memoir, The Hope We Hold, writing that she had never felt such a strong attraction to anyone. However, Bulo had a difficult time winning over Jim Bob, who made his now son-in-law complete a 50-page survey before dating his daughter. It was intense, but I was actually pretty eager to fill it out and say, okay, look, this is a good opportunity for them to get to know me. Bulo told us weekly exclusively while promoting their book. It's tough for Mr. Duggar man, He's got all these girls and all these guys hanging around. I think if I had all those girls, I'd probably come up with a document too. She's relatable. Joy Anna Duggar gave fans a sneak peek into her life as a stay-at-home mom with three young children, including the messiness of her car. Tonight is the night I'm going to clean out my car, Joy Anna, 26, said in a video she shared to Instagram on Tuesday, August 13. I'm kind of embarrassed to say this. I did a very deep detail on my car about a month ago, but now it looks like it was a year ago. We spend so much time in our car though, and I semi-try to keep it clean, but it's gotten a little out of hand. The 19 kids and counting Elam then turned the camera on the inside of her car and showed the vehicle littered with crumbs, a random pair of boxing gloves, Legos, unused socks, and more. Joy Anna explained there wasn't a lot of trash, but a lot of toys so far. She also pulled out a potty seat that she never got rid of and said that the family now used it because it was much cleaner than public restrooms. Joy Anna concluded, Honestly, I don't feel too bad. The majority of it was just stuff, but I'm going to work on cleaning it out more consistently though. There wasn't much trash, but there's a lot of crumbs and food, so I'm going to get it detailed tomorrow. It's going to be looking brand new. The comments section was filled with sympathetic parents who understood the plight of dealing with young kids and keeping their areas clean. I remember the days I had the exact same car crumbs and toys everywhere. It is normal. You are living life. To be honest, I miss those days. One Instagram user wrote in the comments. Another person added, This video just made me feel so much more validated for not having a sparkling clean mom car all the time. A few people applauded Joy Anna's use of the potty seat in the car. And one fan wrote, I think the car potty is genius. 
I don't know why I never thought to do that when my son was a toddler. An additional fan said, this was so satisfying to watch. I always take a laundry basket out and pile everything, trash, toys and all, into the basket, then go through it sitting comfortably on the couch with the children doing the legwork to put it all away. Hey, it's their mess. We have a potty training chair in our van. It is the best for little children who can't keep from touching EVR thing in a public restroom. Joy Anna's car cleaning video was posted on the heels of the former counting on star receiving backlash for what critics called unsafe parenting. The former reality TV star shared a video on Instagram on Monday, August 12, that featured her riding an ATV with her youngest child, Gunner, in her lap. People slammed Joy Anna in the comments for not putting a helmet on the toddler while they rode on their farm to go visit some of their horses.